Hi, I'm Cezo Mpof Walsh, an IC Knowledge Merchant. I want to talk to you today about why South Africa needs a national wealth fund. In order to pursue the developmental goals which we've set for ourselves, which are massive, we, we need revenues. And the current strategy just isn't going to cut it. We can't keep squeezing the last cent out of the very people who we claim to be trying to uplift through VAT increases and price hikes. We need an ambitious and a fresh new plan to get more revenue so that we can pursue the goals that we all agree are important to take our country forward. And my view is we need a national wealth fund to do that. A national wealth fund is kind of like a sovereign wealth fund, but different. A sovereign wealth fund takes a state stake in an economic sector, usually in resources, and invests the profit that it generates from that stake on the global markets. It then takes the returns that the global market gives it and plows it back into the economy, into the state coffers, which can be used for things like education, healthcare, and service delivery. A national wealth fund is kind of similar, but it's a much bigger idea. A national wealth fund takes all the assets under the control of a single government and consolidates them in one central fund. It uses the size and scale of this fund and the revenues that this fund is able to generate to fundamentally transform an economy. Let's get a sense of the scale of what this could be. If you just take the South African government's property portfolio, think of all the properties that government owns, right from national all the way down to municipal level. According to two Scandinavian economists, on average, if governments could just get a 1% return on only their property portfolios, that would be the equivalent of a 4% tax increase. Remember, these are assets that the state already owns. All the government is doing is just using them better and actually gaining more revenues that it can use for developmental goals. But there are other kinds of assets, like state-owned companies, like government-owned land, and like government-owned funds. And pooling all of these assets in one central place and using the size and the power of that fund to improve government revenues has been a tried and tested strategy of some of the most dynamic economies in the last four decades. Think of two examples. One is in Singapore, where Temasek, Singapore's national wealth fund, has grown at an annual rate of 17% a year since 1974. That's far out outperformed the Singaporean stock exchange and completely changed the lives of Singaporeans. In China, SESAC completely consolidates all the state's funds that are owned in state-owned companies, pulls them in one place, and has now become the single biggest asset owner in the world. What could South Africa do with our tremendous mineral resources, with all the financial ingenuity we have at our disposal, if we could get a national wealth fund going. That would give us the ability to really transform our country and the lives of our people for the better. And it's for that reason that I think we need to start embarking on fresh ideas, thinking of new ways that we can get the revenues we need in order to pursue the goals we need to pursue. If you're interested in this idea in more depth, check out chapter four of my book, Democracy and Delusion, where I spell out the idea in a lot more detail. Thanks.